Hi, welcome to STA 205, Introduction to Statistical Methods. I'm Dr. Theodore Hodson of the Department of Mathematics and Statistics, and I will be your instructor this semester. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to several features of the Canvas course page and some details about the course syllabus. The Canvas course page is divided into several sections course information and assignments, which includes the syllabus and a schedule of topics and assignments, formula sheets and tables, and the most important section, the course units. The course units, as you'll see, I'll open up Unit 1, includes all of the assignments that you'll be completing. They'll be posted in this section, anything that's take home. The Each of the topics we'll be covering including any notes that we have, handouts, example problems, sample sort of worked out problems, and uh, some sample videos. So if we have a video, if we have a course session and you say, I don't quite understand this topic, I've posted additional videos for you to view on each topic. This course is a synchronous course. This is my first time teaching a synchronous online course. I've taught several asynchronous courses where materials are posted and you complete them at whatever your schedule permits. But this is the first synchronous course. And that means that the course will meet during the appointed class time. So let's look at the syllabus and go through some of the materials. I'm teaching actually two sections of SDA 205. And this will be the, the section of this syllabus is STA 205, section 19, meets at 12.15 to 1.30. That is synchronous. At least for the first several weeks of the course, we'll be meeting every Tuesday and Thursday uh, at 12.15 to 1.30. Section 21, my other section of 205, meets from 1.40 to 2.55, again, during that class time. It's an expectation, as you would for a regular face-to-face -face class, that you attend class during each session. I have found, and something we'll study in this class is correlation, I have found that there's a high correlation between students that attend class and success in this course. So, attend class every day for the entire period. So, a few details about the syllabus. Class meetings can be accessed via the Zoom link, which I'll show you in just a little bit after going through the syllabus. I have a few office hours. Those will be by Zoom, and I will post my personal Zoom page. Okay, and that, all you have to do is click on the link. I will be there at the times that are indicated in the office hours, and you can click on the link, come and ask your question or questions, or just listen to questions of others, and then leave. You're not obligated to stay the whole time, it's just a time for me to be available to you. There is no official course text in my section of the course. There is, I do highly recommend, that you pick up a reference text. Okay, so a lot of the homework that I'll be posting, practice problems, will be coming from this textbook. It's a used textbook, which is good. The, the current edition is, I think, the sixth edition, which is about 200 and some dollars. This used edition, the fourth edition of this textbook, and I have the, the book listed on the syllabus, can be purchased for about $15 from Amazon and other booksellers. So it's not much different than the new section, and it will give you access to all of the problems and, all, and, and resources, additional materials you can read about each topic. Every student should have a StatCrunch account. So much of the work we've been doing in this class will be completed on statistical software called StatCrunch. The, so you must, you should purchase a StatCrunch subscription. Short-term short -term subscriptions for six months are available for about fifteen dollars. Um, other materials that you should have for your class, um, you should have a calculator and um, a four-function calculator, uh, one that can complete with square root. A very good calculator for SDA 205 is the TI-83 or 84. I would not go out and purchase one if you don't have one, but if you can get access to an 83 or an 84, they're great tools 
They do a lot of the materials and the calculations that we'll be doing in the class. For grading, there are a total of two tests, semester tests. Each test will include an online component and a take-home component. They're 20% of your grade each. There'll be 10 quizzes. Two of those will be dropped. Okay, so your lowest two quizzes will be dropped. I don't know, some may be all online, some may be part take-home, some may be a, both, a combination of both. It just depends on the quiz, and I will note that in the schedule. There is a cumulative final, which will include an online component and a take-home component. The tests and the final must be taken during the appointed class time. Grades are standard. A, an A is 92% and above. A minus is 90 to 92%, and so on. A few other features of the syllabus. Um, so, again, highly recommended that you attend class. Since you are allowed to drop your two lowest quizzes, the no makeup quizzes will be given. So, if you miss a quiz for whatever reason, just use that quiz as one of your drop quizzes. You won't be penalized at all. But your top eight quizzes will be counted in your grade. So make sure that you're here for quizzes. Quizzes will probably be the online component asynchronous, which means I'll give you a deadline. They must be completed by, say, midnight on a given day. Other, other details and information, there is a departmental syllabus. A key feature for many of you, if you need help, there is free online help in STAT 205, available through the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. The link to access that help is posted here. There's also free tutoring, face-to-face -face and online, at the Learning Plus Center, and you can schedule that at the link. Your, your class, the dates for your class, important dates, are posted on the syllabus. Note that your final, this is the final for Section 19. Um, I believe that the, the, the um, test for Section 21 is on December 10th. It will be posted on your syllabus. Um, other announcements and so forth. Um, I'm going to be trying a few new things this semester. Again, this is I've taught online asynchronous classes for about 20 years. This is my first synchronous class. I will do my very best to keep you engaged and to help you su succeed in this class. You can help me by giving me some feedback, giving me some insight. What can I do to help better serve you and keep, keep you engaged better in this class? Um, so I will be experimenting with perhaps discussion groups, perhaps, perhaps polls. Um, I'm going to have you be, I'm going to have you submit some, any materials, have you submit it through Canvas. There is a link here on the syllabus to how you submit materials on Canvas. Basically, you save as a PDF, group, PDF and post it up on Canvas. Um, let's see. There is, uh, and then I will grade that th through a speed grader system. One important point, I think it's a general point in this class, if you have questions, contact me as soon as possible. My email is posted. I also have, at the top of the syllabus, I have my phone number. And that phone number, it's my office phone number. I will not have any on um, any face-to-face -face office hours this semester. I'm an online teacher only this semester. But if you leave a message, uh, then what I can do is it will come to me to my email, and then I will get back to you as soon as possible. The office hours will be by, by Zoom. And again, I will show you that link in a second. So a few other features of the course site. Um, assignments. There'll be some online assignments. They'll be posted if you click on the assignments link. You'll go to, you'll go to those. I haven't posted anything yet. We're just getting started. Um, and the class sessions. The way to attend class on the page, on the Canvas page at the very bottom is a Zoom link. If you click on that Zoom link, you'll notice that, there you go, that your class session is posted here. So the class for Tuesday 818, our first class, is posted here. You click on the link and you can go ahead and start. So again, I, I can't wait to see all of you in class. 
I'm here to help you succeed in the class and look forward to working with you this semester. If you have any questions at all, contact me via phone or email, and I'll help as best I can. Thank you again, and I will see you on Tuesday.